Welcome to the instruction video for the ERM 100-3 Eurobore Cutter Resharpening Machine. Today we're going to explain to you step-by-step -step how to successfully operate this machine. Make sure to follow the operation and safety instructions while operating this machine. Today we're going to resharpen this Eurobore HS's angular cutter of 22 mm diameter. The cutter has six teeth, and as you can see, this cutter has done its job, and it's time to be resharpened. The machine is supplied to you with the index plate 9T installed. So first we'll have to change it to the right index plate, because our cutter has six teeth, not nine. Start by unlocking the bolt of the cutter holder. Untighten the screw on the index plate. Unscrew the star wheel. Then take out the index plate. Refer to the table in the manual that shows which index plate you need to select. This depends on the number of teeth the cutter has. Note that two of the index plates have various number of slots on both sides, so make sure you mount the right side. Place the selected index plate on the back of the cutter holder. Make sure the side with the correct amount of slots goes facing the holder. Fasten it first with the star wheel. Then tighten the screw inside the index plate. And lastly, unlock the bolt inside the cutter holder in a counterclockwise direction. Next, position the cutter holder at 90 degrees. You can see that on the scale beside the cutter holder. Tighten it with the lever on the back. Before we place our cutter in, let's take a closer look at the geometry of cutter teeth and their characteristics. Angular cutters come in different variations. Some cutters have V-shaped teeth only. Others have flat and V-shaped teeth combined. The Eurobore cutter that we're going to resharpen has two kinds of teeth, V-shaped with the outside and the inside and flat teeth. So we'll have to do three different grinding actions. Insert the cutter into the cutter holder with the screw pointing on the cylindrical shape, not on the flat. Don't fix it yet, we're going to align it first with the laser. We're going to start with reshaping the V-shaped teeth at first. So position the cutter so that the laser touches the outer cutting edge of the V-shaped tooth. Now you can tighten the cutter in place with an Allen key. Mark the first aligned tooth with the marker. This should always be the last tooth to resharpen. Now we have to position the arbor holder and the column scale with the appropriate angles for each position. We're going to regrind the first position, the inside V-shaped teeth, referred to the page 11th of the manual supplied with the machine. The column scale has to be set on 20 degrees, and the cutter holder at 5 degrees position. You should adjust the slide and fix the stopper on the position so you don't overdo the slide and prevent to hit the next tooth. Use the lever at the back to fix it, then fine tune it with the screw. Bring the grinding disc closer to the cutter by turning the motor feed on the right until it slightly touches the tooth of the cutter. Now you're ready to start resharpening.
The second resharpening position is the outside of the V-shaped teeth. Set the column scale at 7.5 degrees. And the cutter holder at 22 degrees. You should adjust the motor feed carefully. Once you set the values the same for all teeth, The last position you have to resharpen is the flat teeth. Set the column scale at 6 degrees and the cutter holder at 15 degrees. As you can see, the teeth are perfectly resharpened, and now you can start drilling again. ERM 100-3, the most easy to operate resharpening machine that extends the lifetime of all your annual cutters. Eurobore, for professionals, by professionals.